So here, we're gonna dive into this. This is gonna be my favorite right now because it's very spicy as you can see. And I know there is an impact on Men's Day, but there's no emphasis on no. because it was not mushrooms. No herb, no spicy. Man. I love it, man. Because it would like undermine <coughs> the women's day. Coughing, it's a good so sign. Like, <laughs> like, on that day, I looked at What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in Seoul, South Korea. Today we have a cool mix of things to show you. We're gonna go first to the War Memorial Museum to learn about the 1952 to 1953 Korean War. And then after this, we're gonna have some dinner. We're gonna have Buddhist temple food. I've never tried it before, I'm very excited. Let's go inside the memorial and learn about the history of Korea. I personally love, I love memorial, like war memorial museums. Yeah. It's, they're amazing. It's fascinating to see all the different military technology and how it's progressed over the years. Especially like, for me, I, I find it fascinating the 20th century. Yeah, thing. I mean, I love everything. I mean, in terms of history, this room that we just entered is full of old cars and really old yeah. planes. Right here we have like huge cannons, we have a tank, nice little buggy right there. That's like a little... It's like uh, a doom buggy. It's like a doom buggy. <laughs> wow, look at this, really cool. And this, so the, these two cars are from the presidents, right? From yeah. old school presidents. Those look vintage. Super vintage. I love the tank, man. What is this, 1939? The Soviet T-34 was developed in 1939. It was one of the best tanks in World War II. North Korea People's Army employed some 242 of these main battle tanks during the Korean War. Dude, this is sick. This one's awesome. This is a pretty impressive collection over here. I really like, well, the tank is just unbelievably big. You really get a sense of scale walking up next to it. And then you also have some old vintage war planes as well. And some like amazing cars. Well, let's go up into this plane right here. What is this, a MiG-15? Yep. Wow. Check this out. Dude. It says do not, go, don't go up. It says it? Literally, yeah. No, I think it says do not like get go on top. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just got to the third level of the museum and here we're gonna enter the Korean War room. So the Korean War actually started in 1950 and in 1953. A lot of countries helped out, the UN came in and the first thing we're gonna enter here is like a mini memorial of all the countries that participated in you know, the United States, Colombia, Australia, who else, Great Britain, I mean so many different countries and right here we can see all the people who lost their lives in this war. Really sad, really, really sad. So one of the most interesting things that you can see over here is the collection of different weapons they have. These in particular are, I believe, rifles. And then around the corner over there, you have the different army uniforms of every single country that was a participant in the Korean War. It's very fascinating to see how the uniforms differed between each country. Yeah, so, you know, obviously United Nations came in to help, and that's made up of how many nations? I don't even know. It's like... It's a lot. Now it's a lot, but back then yeah. it was way less. A lot, so, of, a lot of Commonwealth nations, Canada was involved, Australia was involved. Um, Great Zealand, Britain, U.S. Great Britain, yeah, yeah. Actually, wow. there's, there's, there was a lot more involvement than I think a lot of people realize. Okay, so in this room, besides just showing you, you know, all the different uniforms that all the countries had, it also tells you how many people were involved from each nation. So U.S., we had a one point, almost 1.8 million soldiers and 36,000 fatalities. And you can see, you know, obviously all the clothing here, all the uniforms. You can see some of the weapons they use. These are some huge weapons, rocket launchers, got AKs, got machine guns, the handguns, knives. I mean, these guys are really prepared for war. Wow, this is, this is really, really fascinating. I mean, wow, 50 caliber machine gun. Do you saw the machine gun here? So we just finished visiting the Korean War Memorial. Incredible place, learned a lot about the Korean War. We also saw a lot of the you know, artillery, who was involved in the war. Yeah, uh, old uniforms. Old uniforms, the, the armory. I mean, just like all the different types of weapons. Yeah. The tank, I mean, really incredible. But next up, oh, we got man. dinner. We got dinner. We got a Buddhist oh. temple feast. So excited for that. You've been enjoying the vegetables in Korea, so you're gonna oh. get a whole lot of vegetables today. Oh, I can't wait. I'm sure it's gonna be tofu and soup. Yeah, man. Veggies, I mean, probably no meat, so it's gonna be veg, no non veg, just veg. If I remember correctly, this type of meal 
it, it was very mindful eating in, in the sense that everything that you're served, you're supposed to finish. You don't leave a drop of soup or a morsel of rice. All right, so we made it here. This restaurant has monastic Korean cuisine. So monastery cuisine. As you can see, we have a monk right here. My buddy, oh, you can't touch it, sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go inside, I'm really hungry. All right, so here we go. We're starting off with three different appetizers. Here we have yeah, like a rice bland. porridge with some peanuts, bland. right? This is a kimchi soup, has a little like red bread. chili <laughs> right really there. Like, and then this American, looks like, yeah. like a day, like a oatmeal. big yeah, cherry. A wow, looks <laughs> incredible. That's, like, that's the mystery one. That's the mystery, right? right. So this is the, it actually smells like almost like a peanut butter oatmeal. Whoa, look at that. Okay. Right. Just thing. All right, here like we go. Cherry, it's, it's like a beetroot. But it's mm. got a little... It is like, it is like an oatmeal. I don't know. It's rice, you know? Ricey. Mm. Mm. A little, little bit of veggies. I don't know what that is exactly. Nice, like, peanut butter flakes. I'll be careful. Like peanut flakes. Mm. Oh, I love it. Next up, we have the kimchi. There's over 200 different types of kimchi. This is one of them, okay? So we're going to dive into this. Yeah, it's basically the national dish. So, you eat it with every meal. <laughs> I'm feeling more zen now. This one's a little wild. I think a little potent, right? Yeah. Mm. Hit me hard. It's quite sour, isn't it? Mm, quite sour. Exactly. Mm. Soul, it's decent. I mean, I can eat it. We have this like used cherry, okay? Angelo is <laughs> You know what it tastes like? What? Is this just a white bread? It's almost like a big tomato. It just burst in my mouth. Yeah, it's juicy, man. But you're right. Similar to a lychee. Mm -hmm. mm. But also has like grapey taste to it. This like how is it? Oh that's good, it's good. I think I'm gonna go back and just drink some of this though. <laughs> what do you like the sour? Did you wake like yourself it. up there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Really it's good. quite sour, man. Very sour. Quite good. Good stuff. And that's it, that's our whole meal, right? Yeah. No. <laughs> I think it's a really uh, tasty appetizer course. Nice and light, refreshing. And after having a big barbecue for lunch, this is the perfect kind of meal to be having right now. All right, so next up we have four different dishes. Here we have a bean curd. Here we have a kimchi pickle, right? Right here. Yeah. The next thing, mung bean jelly with lotus fruit. And then next to it we have a green leaf. Yeah. So first up, let's grab some of this. Grab some of this. Got a little bit. Wow, oh my God, super like gelatin like. Look at that. Over there. Right? Oh, this green leaf looks really good. No, kimchi cucumber, sorry. Right? This is also very bland. I don't love it. No? Yeah. Next. Mung bean jelly. Look how shedding like that is. Not a tofu because it's not as soft as tofu. It's more like a thick consistency, right? Yeah. Very compact. Pickle. Jiggly. It's like a pickled pickle. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. right, pickled cucumber. I don't know, man. This is not your favorite course. It doesn't have a lot of taste to it. Very bland. Yeah. I think it needs some spice or something else. No, the like cherry tomato was pretty. Next up, we're gonna get some of this leaves. I think that has a sesame seed. Oh, oh wow. Well. Oh wow. Well. Yeah, this is a taste of like a like a non-ripe mango inside. Oh wow. Yeah, very sour. Just plain food right here. Not that much flavor. It's earthy. <laughs> <laughs> Next up with the bean curd. And now this I know I'm gonna love. I don't often dine. I got not that much taste. You know what's good? Like a, like, they you know, have the porridge like this is a It's like a porridge, but it's not ricey at all. It's, it's like tiny, like mini grains in a way. It could almost be like like a watered down mashed potatoes. Decent. So here we have the main course. We have like one, two, three, four, five different dishes. This one actually has four. It has two Korean pancakes, one mushroom dumpling, tofu, and then here we have another veg. Here we have some noodles, right? And this I think is more mushrooms. Yeah, maybe she's talking mushrooms. Talking mushrooms? She's talking mushrooms? She's talking mushrooms? I'm not sure, but it might be. <laughs> I'm gonna start with this. Your metal chopstick ability. It is hard to pick up noodles with metal chopstick. Mm. Not mushroom. It's like a plantain. Mm. It's almost like a maluro. Oh wow. You like those? Oh my god. 
fresh. Mm. Delicious. I love the glaze. Yeah. Mm. Some more flavor with this round. Yeah, super flavorful. This one. It almost feels like a sweet and sour in a way. Mm. But it for sure, it's like a platano. So like a right here plantain but, yeah. sorry not know my noodle <laughs> now i'm gonna jump onto the noodles oh my god it's like stuck wow I've never seen these noodles before it almost is like like wheat noodles or like buckwheat noodles right wow what is this so specialized super cold oh, wow this one has mushrooms it's a little creamy. I don't know exactly what this is. A little spicy too. Mmm, very nice. So mix it up, right? Just mix it all together. Oh wow! Look at that. Straight to the mouth. Okay, the purple. It's gonna be pickled. Mmm. Oh, delicious noodles, dude! I love the spice on this one. Okay, next I'm going for something I love, which is the tofu. I'm gonna take this off. I don't know what that is. Okay. Oh yeah. Which one you want to go? This tofu looks so very tofu. different. Yeah. It's a thicker one. Yeah, it is very thick, very dense. Mm. There's no flavor though. I so should dip that into this. <laughs> but the theme here in like the monastic, monastic uh, food is that it's very veggie, with like almost no flavor. This is the most flavorful thing in the house. Got a mushroom dumpling. Here. I'm gonna dip it here. Oh, it's strong. It's a big dumpling. Yeah. So afterwards. Mm -hmm. mm. This one that I can't pick up. Yeah, oh, nice. Mmm. Very earthy. A little warm inside. Mm. So this one looks more like a spinach pancake. This one, I don't know exactly what it is. Let's see. I like the dumpling. You like the what? There's like a potato with onion pancake. We're slowly building it. Oh. Mm, it's very good. Mm, I love it. And this is like the spinach one. It's, more, it's not really spinach. I mean, there's lots of different vegetables. You got something red right there. I'm gonna go in here. Get a little spice, right? Video tutorials. Like, is it teacher? Like, whoa. Before. Lots of herbs. Water is very much mm. like methodical. Very nice. <laughs> A straight uh, veggie pancake. So here we have our roots. We will right. work through it together. <laughs> Almost has a texture of bamboo. bamboo so I was watching one time too. Okay, it might actually be bamboo. It might be. Oh, right, then it just talks normal. Add something like a coating of something, a little spicy. Oh, so this is a lotus root. Wow, nice and pink. I love pink. Nice and crunchy, refreshing. All this content is so mm. good. Like, oh, I love it. All right, here we have our fourth platter of dishes, right? So we have soybean paste soup. It's actually five years fermented soybean paste. Here we have a lotus leaf. And inside we have rice, so sticky rice. Ooh, really hot. And then here we have, what is it called? Banchan? Banchan, five kinds of banchan. Five types of, five types of banchan. Banchan are side dishes. Here we have two kimchi and we have two greens. And this looks like very spicy mushrooms. So, what else do we have? We have some mushrooms. Oh, looks really good. Oh, wow. A little intense. Intense? Yeah, let me see the soup alone. It's like a veggie soup, right? Yeah, yeah. Mmm, very nice. Oh, I love it. Rich broth. Super rich. It also feels like cucumbers, but that's actually a soybean paste. It's very fermented, like it's very intense, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, okay, I'm gonna hold up, but I like it. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna open this guy. Just rice. Oh, and there's like something on top. What is that? Yeah, it's like two beans and a pine nut. Yeah, pine nut. So the best thing to do is grab some of the rice. Which one do you think? This one? Yeah. So I'll grab this kimchi first. A little strong. Mm -hmm. mm. Next one, we get a green. Try something different. Change up the flavor in the palate. It's nice, but it's also very bland. Yeah. Alright, so here, we're gonna dive into this. This is gonna be my favorite right now because it's very spicy, as you can see. And I know there is an international men's day, but there's no Amazon no. because it was not mushrooms. No herb. No spicy. Man. Oh, I love it, man. Because it would like undermine the women's day. Coughing. It's a good sign. <laughs> now we're going for another kimchi. So I guess some of this. Oh, this one has like multiple layers here. Mm, very nice. 
Crunchy, very moist, like bursted out of water. Mmm. Actually, it tastes like a, like a water kimchi. Yeah. Like, that, does that exist? Yeah, right? Yeah, there's actually one called Mool Kimchi. And then right here we have some more herbs. Yeah. Some more yummy green herbs. Then we have day off even for a national mm. holiday. There's a children's thing. It's another herb that tastes like nothing. I don't know what <laughs> I mean, here they like eating things that taste like nothing. I don't know why, but obviously it's very vegan. No, almost no spices. Yeah, there's a blend. There's a, nothing to do with it vegan. It's blend. No, I'm just saying it's very vegan. It has a simplicity to it, yeah. Just yeah. ruining my video. <laughs> simplicity, exactly. It's simple food. Simple home food. My favorite thing is for sure this soybean, the soybean paste. I am extremely full. So far, we've had I think like 20 something different little things. Yeah. Next up, we have dessert. Wow. And that's it. That's it. Wow. Done. No this is the most simple dessert of all time. Two dried out kiwis. Yeah. And like this, like I think this is like a red tea. I don't know what it is. It's like some red water. Okay. Yeah, I got this. Is it sweet? At all? Not Nothing. at all. Dude, it's just like straight water with like a little bit of tint into some type of like bark or something. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> here, here we have two kiwis, dried kiwis. Dried kiwi. Mm. I love it. I love dried fruits, so I'm game for this. I like some more. Too little, too little for me. <laughs> you got, you got two oh my god, what a meal. Yeah. What a meal. I think it's a little too much. Um, overall, not my favorite. No. Wow, that meal was intense. I am so full. Who knew 20 little vegetable dishes can make you pop? Yeah, man. My belly's popping too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's really cool. I mean, it's very simple, but at the same time, delicious. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross over to a temple. We're gonna explore the temple which is right next door and see what it's all about. Jogesa Temple. Jogesa Temple. Yeah, Joge Order. And why do we have all these colors? Ah, this one is for the Buddha birthday decoration. We, last uh, May 12th, it's a, it was a Buddha birthday. Buddha's That's, birthday? Yeah, the decoration, yeah. Wow, I mean. So probably next week or end of the May, they take up all. Yeah, it's a decoration. And then I recommend to go straight to the main building. You can see the big Buddha statue right there inside the building. Where, where we at? What is this? We are at Yogeza Temple. It's one of the biggest uh, Buddhist temples here in Seoul. Very centrally located. And the neat thing is that we're visiting it at night when everything is lit up. You have all the different colorful lanterns and you also have a really nice view of the Golden Buddhas as well. Yeah, the Golden Buddhas are right in front of us. Can we go up here? Um, yes, but not beyond the rope. <laughs> Okay, look at that. Golden Buddhas, check this out, they're huge. So what a great afternoon it's been. We started off at the Korean War Memorial. We saw, you know, Korean War history. Then we saw some tanks, some artillery. After that, we came here and had a monastic Buddha. What is it? Buddhist meal, yeah. Buddhist meal. Yeah. It was delicious, but at the same time, very bland. I mean, yeah. it, it really is an experience. That's really what it's about. Yeah. Very small plates, over 20 different veggie <laughs> plates. Uh, no onions, no garlic. It's very simple. simple My favorite yeah. thing was that like glazed mushroom. Yeah, same here. That's the best thing ever. A couple other people said that too. That and, was amazing. Yeah, I mean, just incredible. And then literally across the street, we have this temple and it's yeah. like lit up. The best time to come here is at night. Yeah. So that you can see so many lanterns i mean we have every color and it's just gorgeous we have a huge fire over here burning yeah. so if it's too cold go over there warm <laughs> <Go> up, warm <laughs> up. <laughs> it does cool off at night it does it does yeah. it got a little chilly that's why i put this on <laughs> and then we went all the way over there and we saw the big golden buddhas and it's a beautiful tree in the middle and yeah i mean this is an awesome spot you got to visit this temple for sure when you come to seoul it's one of the best temples it's the biggest right it's the biggest in the downtown area for sure yeah okay Awesome. Well, guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. And subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. Subscribe to his channel. Thanks, man. And we'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Seoul, South Korea.